Hello everybody and welcome back to All The Mod 6. Today, we delve into a bit of magic and may have discovered a few bugs and issues because I may have lost my mining catch and duplicated our chest plate three times. You'll see what I mean. I hope you enjoy. So today I think it's about time we start on magic. I wanted to do magic last episode, but of course we went on a crazy building spree. Uh, decorating a whole base, which looks amazing by the way. Uh, I didn't really grow any extra trees since, but just looking at the place, I love it. we got colourful trees everywhere, these beautiful mushroom clouds everywhere. Um, or trees, not clouds, what am I saying? Uh, the factory looks great, I have it all decorated and everything, pur purple trees. That sugar cane is growing out of control. We might cut that down soon. Um, yeah, so today we want to get started in magic. And the only magic mod I want to start today is Ars Novu. And I believe that's how you pronounce it. So today we want to just mess around with uh, these glyphs and different spells and learn how the mod works. So I believe the first thing, I've read through the book. Uh, as you can see, I've read through the entire book and I've learned kind of the basics on how you use everything. I think so I'm gonna try and share that knowledge with you so first things first which I believe is we need a spell book now a spell book is just requires all regular tools so we'll just make that so spell book I think we can upgrade it to tier 2 yes we can all right I don't know if the extra tiers or higher the spell book does that just mean um you can well, have more mana or cast even more difficult spells. I actually have no idea. But as you can see when we open it, we have these options. So this is how you create your spells. So we have an option for projectile. We have touch and self. That's our form. And spells are created like you take a form, its effect, and then there's an augment to um, amplify it or decrease or change how the spell acts. For instance, there's actually a spell we done on the live stream called Grow, and we had an augment of area of effect, and if you put the form, the augment, and then the effect, it will do like a 3x3 three three area of growth instead of just a one block growth. So if we create a spell, let's say we do projectile and break, and we call this one just break, uh, create, and it's locked to spell number one. If we just fire this, it will break blocks pretty cool and you can see it uses mana down in the bottom left of our thing so we could spam this as long as we have mana so there's a couple of spells you could also make which is light which is the one I want to make uh, where is it it's like a little light there it is light but to create this we need this magic clay which is pretty simple okay but we also need this glyph press now we need to create this arcane stone so we'll just make a stack of that. So the glyph press is like this. But to power this, we're going to need a mana condenser. So let's make one of those. Mana condenser and a mana jar. Oh, are we out? Oh, we're out of glass. Oh. Uh, I was not expecting to be out of glass. Let's go smell some sand. All right, now that we have sand, we can create the mana jar. Or now that we have glass, we can make, make the mana jar. And the thing is, with mana... I need it to absorb from the farm here. So I've gone ahead and created a armor stand with a hoe. Now this hoe I've enchanted with growth six and it's also indestructible. So if we take this hoe and just harvest everything here and give it back to this guy, this hoe will pretty much make it so Everything grows way quicker. Now, it usually grows way faster than this, so I'm not sure why it's so slow. Because I have experienced the thing, like, popping up like crazy. Um, why is this taking a long time? Is it because it's turning nighttime? Uh, how fast are you growing now? Is there... Has there any been mana? Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. The jar is already half full. The, the, the jar won't fill if you, like, bone meal the ground. Like, that doesn't work. You can see, look, what I think it's actually every time they grow up a slight bit. 
I don't think it's when they're fully grown. I think it's when they just grow at all. Um, a bit of mana gets sent over into the actual jar. So they just condense and will pick up the actual mana from the gr plants growing. We could also kill mobs and it'll also fill this. But you can see the jar is nearly half full. So we actually grab the condenser here. Oops. Or not the condenser, the, the glyph, glyph press. So to create light, actually I keep forgetting we don't have to go to the terminal. So we get a lantern and we made a bunch of them last episode. If we right click this and then with a lantern, this will get to work and use a bit of mana. So this thing goes ahead and creates this glyph. And if we right click it, we learn the spell. And if we right, uh, I, just, I think press C opens up the creation thing. So if we go to number two, we can either projectile, touch or self. And if we do self and light, we get night vision. I'll just call it Night V. So we create that, and I think if you press Z, it changes between modes, and X, so X and Z changes between 1 and 10. You can see that down at the bottom left. And if you press the little button, like the slash, next to Z, Z is it that one, or, oh, it's V. Okay, never mind. If you press V, it'll open up this wheel, which you can select your spells from. So, as you can see, if we come inside here, pop this so you can kind of see it kind of get lighter but now we have night vision for 30 seconds which is pretty cool so we can also modify this then instead of saying self we can do touch and it's no longer night v it's now torch so we can actually pop down some light sources which look amazing so i could just like where the area is not lit up in here i could just pop down like little light sources which look great. So around the place I can just do like light source here, light source there. And have a little light source instead of torches here. Which might look even better. So even like above our door we can have these here. Yeah I, I think these little light orbs are like pretty. We can only replace all our torches with them if we want to. What the hell? Why is our dog outside? And he's hurt. Do we actually punch him? How do we punch him? He was inside. Yeah, we punched him. Our strength 2 nearly killed our dog. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. How did you get hurt? You were inside upstairs. What? Come in. Poor Bone. How do you get outside? I need to be careful then. My, maybe my reach is actually able to go through walls or hurt mobs through walls that's dangerous oh yeah you can see how fast the farmer is pretty much grown up now it's already nearly fully done but yeah with the spell book we can put light sources so we out here we can have two it's really cool so if we wanted to then we could also harm so if we go to number three we can do uh projectile harm and we call it like attack attack create and we can go kill mobs with this I, it's not night time yet so we can't really kill anything let's see if we can kill some squids uh even just fish oh it doesn't penetrate the water oh that's actually annoying um maybe we have to wait till the night time okay never mind we can test it on a cow oh it actually two shots a cow i didn't actually expect it to be that strong I don't necessarily want to kill any animals here because I do want to take some of them home. Uh, is there anything down here? Oh yeah, look, here's a zombie. So, if we change to our light, we can put down a light source. You back off for a second. Change it to harm. How many hearts is that doing? Oh wow, he actually took a lot of health. Oh, I wonder if he's taking more damage because we have strength 2. Here's another zombie. So you have 20 health. And we attack you. You took 5 hearts. So we could just spam this and attack them. Uh, it's not really that effective though. But you can see our, I'm spamming it and it says we're out of mana. Uh, I'm pretty sure also I have mana regen. I have mana, yeah, mana regen on all my armor I believe. Okay, not the chest plate, but I have mana boost on my helmet. That's why I have extra mana. 
And with the mana regen each enchant, we regen our mana really quick, as you can see. So that's handy. So there's also a skeleton down here, which we can kill. It's two creepers. Yeah, our strength is also definitely what's killing these guys quickly. Alright. What other spells can we make? Okay, yeah, this jar is completely full now because this farm is fully grown. So we can empty our inventory of all the junk we just picked up. Uh, let's see. Ars Nouveau. Um, we can also create the armor for, from it. So we have like a novice hood and then we can go to apprentice and then we can go to archmage. How hard is this to make? Blaze fiber. Okay, we need this mana bloom which comes from this mana seed. Which comes from enchanting. So we need an enchanting apparatus. Okay. Which is. That's an arcane core. It needs an arcane core. Um, Where is the thing? En enchanting apparatus. And then we need four arcane pedestals. Okay. So now we just need a gem. And I think just seeds. Just one seed and four gems. So. We can go inside here and probably we could do probably right in the center here. So core enchanting apparatus and it's surrounding this. Let's see, like the colors in there look beautiful. Alright, so seeds. One side seeds and then the other f no. Oh no, actually no. Get that out. It's the seeds go in here and then these surround the actual thing. Then we shift right click. The thing goes to work. That looks so pretty. And then we create a seed. And we can do that multiple times if we wanted to. But now if we come in here. Uh, I'd say we don't need string anymore. So I'm going to remove all this. Oh, I broke the armor stand. Uh, let's harvest all this actually. Oops, I did not want to break the sugar cane. That's the thing, but the, 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 bigger the, the better the hoe... The bigger the area of effect uh, that it will harvest. So, I, that's annoying. See? So, we just get back our armor stand. Plop them down. Give them the hoe. Everything should start growing. And all we have to do now is just plop this guy right here. And he'll grow up. And we can harvest him. Alternatively, if we don't want to wait, we could just bone meal it. Like, really fast. And just harvest a ton of these mana blooms. And now from the mana blues, we put them in here, we get mana fibers. And using that fiber, we can either create the novice hood, but I think we should go straight for the arch mage, which requires popped coarse fruit, which we actually have tons of. What the hell is this? Extreme power transfer? What the hell? Uh, what did it say? Popped coarse fruit, which is just coarse fruit. Do we have any coarse fruit? I'm sure we do. No. Oh, no, we do. We have plenty of popcorn fruit. Uh, oh, yeah, we have plenty of corn fruit. Let's actually go smell some of this now. Right, with 52 popped corn fruit, if we go back to Ars Nouveau, we can... So, the Archmage requires end fibers, which needs blazing fibers, which is just this with blaze powder. Wait, do we don't have any blaze? Yeah, we have plenty of blaze rods. There we go. Ars Nouveau... 64. Yeah, we, that's plenty. And then we can combine this make end fibers. There we go. And I'm pretty sure you just make the full set of armor now. There we go. So, uh, we could take off our armor right now. But I believe this actually gives us... It's actually not bad. It's actually nearly strong as diamond. So let's put this on. What do we look like? Oh, wait, we need to toggle this off. No, actually, take it off. Wait, what? What did I do? Oh, no. I, I think... What? I just duplicated my chest plate. How? It's, it's not changing back, so I, I actually did duplicate it. What the hell? How did I manage that? Wow. 
Wait a second. I'm gonna try this. Oh my god. You can duplicate the armor if you right click it when it's in the cosmetic slot. That's a bug that needs to be fixed. Um. Okay, I'm going to delete these two chest plates. In here. Wait, what? I got them back. I want to delete. I can't delete them. They're stuck on me. They're, they're a part of me now. Wait, there's my chest plate. Wait, are they just a visual bug, maybe? Or do they actually have their enchantments? I have no idea. Can I put them in the computer? I can. They actually are real. They're not fake. But I can't delete them in here. So that's uh, a bit of a problem. Wait, where the fuck's my mining gadget? Oh. When I right clicked it, it popped it into this slot, which deleted my mining gadget. We've got a few issues. Well, that's a big rip. We have lost our mining gadget. Um, that's actually kind of annoying because I loved that mining gadget. Now we have to go create a whole new one. Uh And it's definitely nowhere else. I didn't right, actually right click it on in and any, into anything, did I? I don't think so. Yeah, there's no way I must have done that. I'll have to look back to the recording and see how we got deleted. It must have been when I right clicked the cosmetic slot into here. I'm pretty sure like if you right click this, it pops into here or swaps whatever's in your chest plate. And it deleted my chest armor because it's sent it down here when it duplicated the chest plate which over which overwrote my mining gadget hmm i don't know if anybody else has experienced that but anyway we can make a few more things i'll make the mining gadget it's not that big of a deal it's just annoying have to go create all that because i've used up so much more all the modium but we have a fair bit of it. Like, I think I have, like, four blocks worth. Uh, yeah, like, 39 of it. So, we have plenty of all the modium for now. Uh, I do want to get all the modium bees going, but I need to upgrade the bee stalls and make them bigger. But anyway, I want to make these amulets, because these amulets allow you to regen and have a boost on your mana. I don't think it's as great of a difference as having the enchantments on your armor. So, we'll have to keep an eye on that, or test to see how much it increases by we need way more of this stone because we need two more of these because we need a total of nine of these pedestals now to create the amulets so the amulets require what's a dull trinket which pretty simple we just grab some more iron nuggets dull trinket so grab two of them because we're gonna need two uh we need three diamonds and five mana gems and i think this is two diamonds two gold and four mana gems so one two three four five we need nine in total um we need three diamonds plus another two and then two pieces of gold there we go mana gems and the dull trinket so the dull trinket in here we need five of these and so one two three four five three diamonds now we just shift right click this and we should create a mana boost and we can do the same thing in here so now just grab the four of these instead two diamonds and two gold shift right click and now we'll make a mana regen and we can put these amulets in here like under um necklace so they can fit in here but i don't want to put them in there uh, i don't know why our magnets on there i kind of want it actually on my hand as a bracelet maybe there we go. So we got a mana regen and mana boost. Another cool spell we can make is called Blink. And Blink will pretty much the same thing as an Ender Pearl. It will allow you to teleport uh, anywhere like an Ender Pearl. So you throw this projectile and it will teleport you around. So if we go into the spell book, go to. Oh, wait, no, I didn't learn it. 
There we go. Spell book. Uh, no. C. Create a new one, number four. And if we do like projectile and... Wait, we learned blink, but where is it? What? Unlocked blink. I don't see blink in here. Wait, we can change the spell colors? Oh, cool. But where do my augment blink go? Huh? I'm going to restart. I'm going to reload the world. Okay, yes. Yeah, so my game may have crashed or broke or done something. Um, our mining tool is still gone after I restarted the game. And we still have the three chest plates because I checked the, the system and they're there. As you can see, they're still here. So I have no idea what's going on. And then when I relaunched the world, my game completely froze. Uh, I couldn't do anything. At the top where it says pickaxe, it was saying waiting for server. And I left it for like half an hour and it never came back. So I had to completely close the game in task manager because when I clicked exit, save to exit game, it was just stuck in saving game for like 20 minutes. So I got set back a bit, but I don't think I got set back that far. But I have remade the blink. But it says I already know this spell, but it's not in here. So we've got some broken thing in this pack right now. This mod has completely glitched out because I right-clicked the armor. And I'm never going to right-click that again. That is definitely a bug that needs to be fixed. And I don't know if it can be fixed because I have no idea anything about mods. I might report it. We'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. But anyway... I don't know if there's much left we can do. Like, there is a lot more in Arch Nova we could do, but um, I'm not sure. Like, what else could we do? Uh, what the hell is this? A jar of light? Uh, no. Is there anything? What's these? Lesser discount, greater discount. Um, jar of voiding. Wixy cauldron. What's this? Wither knockback. Projectile Aquatic. Does that mean I can give myself water breathing? Um, Dampen. Where's the the leap? Because we have Blink, but there's also another one called Leap. That's Accelerate. Vex, Lightning, Harvest. Oh, there it is. Leap. So it's a mi Magical Clay and a Spider Eye. So I need Magical Clay and an Eye. Let's go make this. I'm kind of scared if everything is going to break. Because uh, I have noticed that this game is starting to glitch out a lot. And I'm scared that I'm going to end up losing the world so early on. But anyway, leap. Have this gone in here? It did. Okay. And um, we still don't have blink. So that's annoying. But if we go number four. Let's say we do it on self. Leap. And we'll call it leap. Create. And if we change to it, it kind of drives us forward. So we can actually like hold right click and then kind of like jump around. If we time it correctly, we might be able to like, oh no, we're definitely losing too much um, mana every time we do it. But we can just like leap around if we wanted to. It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if we can, how it would affect anything else. So uh, what else we got? There is one other thing I want to make, which is the door I mentioned last episode uh, for closing the actual, um, what's it called? The actual entrance to our magic area. So it needs aluminium, which we actually have barely any aluminium. I had like 10 ore and I'm smelting up like a bit of it. So we need to be careful because if we don't run out, we won't be able to upgrade our bees. And I really want to be able to upgrade the bees. Uh, I need two more pistons. Blank upgrade. I don't know why it needs a distance upgrade. But I need three more pistons. Or a total of eight more pistons, I believe. And we need more aluminium. From over here. Twelve more. That's plenty. Pop it in here to smelt. There is also another block we could put in here. Or an item. And it's a wireless heat receiver, meaning we could use our power from our reactor instead of coal to run the furnaces. Meaning we can have the speed upgrade in here without having to worry about running out of coal. 
So last but not least, one, two, three, three of those. And if we get a lever, we need one. And what kind of block are we going to put across the front? Should we put like glass? Would glass be a bit stupid or... We'll try it. We'll see what glass is like. I don't know how well glass would look. This rain is annoying. I can't sleep through it though. But we want to break these tree blocks. Put these down the way. And we can disguise the block. By do oh. Uh, that's actually annoying. I guess we can't disguise it with the myelite. But the plan was, we put three of each block inside, with them all facing down, and put a lever on it. This will make like a door. And if we get marble, uh, just three of it, open it, and just replace this tree with marble. Um, what kind of block can we put there then? Because this thing just turns white when you put it on. Damn it, that defeats the whole purpose of why I wanted these there. Alright, better plan. Instead of going up down the way, we'll go up the way. So we can change the floor style into marble. So, we'll disguise you like that. Oh, they actually retained their thing. So we go up, up, marble, and marble, and then up. And if we put a lever right here... Um... I need to be able to run a redstone signal underneath each one. So let's see if we can grab some redstone. Oops. Redstone. Now I don't know if this will activate it. But if we then run redstone to here. Okay, that powers them that block. But how do we get it to power this block? Let me figure this out. Okay, look, it's not the greatest um, way to do it, but if I put a lever here, I can now make it go up. It, I, I might figure something else out, or if you know something else on how to make this work better, um, you can put in the comments. Uh, but right now, this is probably the best we can do. Uh, the only thing is we can't close it from the inside or we'll get stuck, so we have to not do that. So I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button if you did and subscribe if you're new. And I also stream All the Mod 6 over on Twitch as well. So why not go check that out? So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed.